Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the After Hours Podcast. On today's episode, we are talking about Final Bout. This year is the 10th year of Final Bout, I believe. Um, so it's definitely a big, a big year. And this this event is looking like it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, Front Street Drift Club, our, our neighbors in Staten Island are going. And uh, me and Carl are going out there basically to do a bunch of podcasts. We're going to have an, a, a booth at the event, which I don't even think we mentioned in this podcast. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a booth out there with parts and merch. So if you guys see us, make sure you say what's up. Uh, but yeah, Final Bout is located in Shano, Wisconsin. August 31st, I believe, would be the would be the correct date of the event. So if you guys want to check out some really cool looking drift cars, uh, that's the event to be at because even the car show is going to be awesome, I'm sure. And if you guys really have some time off, I would I would say get to Chicago around Thursday, Friday, hang out with some people, uh, go to some car meets, and then everyone rides up Friday afternoon or morning. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's a definitely a really good time. I would say one of the best drifting events in the country by far. So uh, yeah, definitely want to check that out. On this podcast, we talked about some of the reasons why we're going. Um, Carl complained about not driving his Sequoia up there because I want to take my truck. And honestly, a lot of bullshit. This episode was a lot of bullshit. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But um, if you don't, too bad. Enjoy. This podcast is sponsored by East Coast Drift School. East Coast Drift School is a driving school focused on learning the art of drifting. Conveniently located at the greatest drifting facility in the United States, Raceway Park in Englishtown, New Jersey. Raceway Park currently has three tracks, so you will have a few options to choose from when setting up your lessons. Chris Knapp, who is part of the Raceway Park family, will be your teacher as he guides you through car setup and technique. If you are more of a seasoned driver, East Coast Drift School is also the place where you can get some extra seat time. Chris allows private track time with no instructing as well, so that you can get some test and tune runs in before that big event or competition you have coming up. Instead of spending the night dodging the police with your boys, consider signing up with East Coast Drift School the next time they release their schedule. Chris releases the schedule on the 16th of every month through Instagram. Make sure to check them out, give them a follow, and shoot over a direct message when you are ready to set up a date. You can find them on Instagram at East Coast Drift School. This podcast is also sponsored by Automotive Specialty Wraps. Looking to have your car ceramic coated or wrapped? Look no further than Automotive Specialty Wraps. ASW is a company specializing in paint protection film, vehicle wraps, ceramic coatings, and window tinting. Owned and operated by car enthusiasts and drifters, their technicians have over 10 years of experience in the industry. They are located right off of Route 208 in Fairlawn, New Jersey. Other than window tinting, which is something we all need at some point, it was the ceramic coating that really caught my attention back when they reached out to us. This coating basically gives your car's paint extra UV protection while also making it shine. Wax only lasts a couple of weeks at most, but ceramic coating lasts for a year or even longer. Honestly, this stuff is like witchcraft to me. Julian came down here one day to explain how it works and how it compares to wax, and I was pretty stunned. They perform a full two-stage polish to the car beforehand just to make sure it's in perfect condition before applying the coating. As mentioned, they also offer window tinting and paint protection film installations. Now, everyone knows what window tinting is, but these guys offer carbon or ceramic window tinting depending on your goals with the vehicle. Paint protection film or PPF is a great idea for those new vehicle owners that don't want to watch their investment get littered with rock chips. Also keep in mind they are capable of getting liveries designed and installed as well as full vehicle wraps. From protecting your tow rig's exterior to full livery installations on your drift car, they have you covered. You can contact them over at AutomotiveSpecialtyWraps.com and make sure to give them a follow on Instagram at Automotive Specialty Wraps. This podcast is brought to you by Faction Motorsports. We are an automotive performance shop located in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Our shop is easy to get to from Route 17, 3, and 21. We are also only 15 minutes away from New York City. Faction Motorsports provides services that include, but are not limited to, performance part installations, suspension overhauls, general maintenance, engine installations, tire mounting and balancing, and custom four-wheel alignments with our in-house Hunter alignment machine. We also stock a range of performance products in-house. From AN fittings and gaskets to complete body kits, we try to stock as many parts as we can to provide quick shipping times for our website customers and same-day pickup for locals. 
Make sure to shoot us an email if you are looking to set up an appointment or if you are looking for a part that is not up on our website. Our email is sales at factionmotorsports.com. We are also on Instagram at Faction Motorsports. Do not. Okay, okay, okay. I won't, I won't, I won't. I won't talk about it. <laughs> hey, well. Uh, <laughs> welcome, everybody, to the Faction After Hours podcast. We're here to bring you another episode. Getting. Bring it back to the roots a little bit with our little casual talk here with me and our co-host Francis Bovino. Everybody, give give Francis. It's actually Francis, not Franklin. Thanks. First time I've ever been here. Yep. Um, this is my first time. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Don't <laughs> don't. <laughs> I gave Carl one rule today. I know. I know. I said I know, don't I know. bring up the sequoia, dude. We can no. Stop. We can, I hear the noise. We can literally be so no. comfortable. I can be eight feet away from you if you wanted to be. Carl, where am I going to put the eight feet of bed equipment that we bring? Dude, I fold that bitch up. We got eight feet really? in the car. Where are you going to put five people? In the car. With all that stuff. Dude, but see, it can double up. Okay. What if I got a trailer too? That's different. Yeah, you would love that because now you don't have to bend down. I wouldn't ah, love it. Ah, my bag. Ah. Uh, I wouldn't love it, but that would make more sense. It would be so fucking. We'd be so comfortable. I'll put whatever you want what on it. What if I get a trailer? What does that have to do with anything? Put your IS on it. Ah, <laughs> uh, ooh, that one. You don't want to talk about the IS. Yeah, I feel like I didn't know that this was going to happen really. So then I was like, fuck. I'm just going to let the IS go for a little bit and just drive. <laughs> well, we didn't know if this was going to happen. Either, and now so. it looks like not. Not as good as it did a few months ago, but uh, it's just, I feel like it, a couple of people have reached out asking about it, and I just don't want to bring it because when I pictured going to Final Bout with my car... You want to drive. It's not that I want to drive. Even if it just goes there and it's sitting there, I I want it to be when I put in the time, put in the effort, oh, okay. worked hard, and like made it to be with these people that I've like not so much as idolized but like was influenced by i don't want to like bring my piece of shit over there like that makes sense i was trying not to curse that whole time that makes sense but like that's i don't want to like ruin it for myself for a long time this is like where i want to go and you're not driving so like that's fair you don't have to bring and where's the third bring it who's the no. third uh yeah we no, need a third about. like i i think we can drive together now my my, my stuff is up well, we got we got people in pending, but we need them to be driving too. Wags. AJ Wags Miyagi, what the Wags hey, is hey. gonna drive? Well, Miyagi, we we determined that he had flipped over a car, so oh, he got a car, car accident. Well, bike accident. No, he got into a moped accident. That's what happened. Yeah, well, it's technically a motorcycle. Imagine but. Miyagi on a moped, dude. <laughs> dude that, that car, car must have been scared. that car probably. <laughs> Bad day to be a car in New York he City. He said he fucked the car up pretty good. I bet. Yeah. His deltoid probably. Poof, he hit right a car there. in New York City because he was running from a guy that was trying to kill him. So New York's been pretty awesome lately. <laughs> <laughs> no. There, um, well, he got into a road rage situation. De Derek had a story the other day that had me dying. Wait, you got to finish this, though. Okay. He had a road rage incident. Did he tell you? You told us. Oh, I did? Literally on the podcast, I think. Did oh, no. It? Might have been when I called you and you were like... You shook your head. Does that mean yes? I did? I think you did. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. But, so. he, but he was running away from somebody from he road like, rage and he, he like kept cursed, chasing He him. gave someone the finger and then they just tried to hit him. And then he's like, what the fuck? And he like, he sped up a little bit and then they chased him and kept trying to hit him. They were hitting the bike. And he's like, oh, this guy's going to try to kill me. So he just starts blowing lights and like running from him. And then a car pulls out last second. I can right over it. He flew 20 feet. <laughs> I bet that dude still pulled over and was like, hey, you dropped this. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know what happened <laughs> to that guy kidding. that chased him, but, well, he said his phone was fucking gone. And That would be the last of my concern. And the first thing the person said when they came out was, what the fuck are you doing? Why the fuck did you hit my car? And Welcome he's on the New ground. City. He's on the ground like this. He just blew his back out. Yeah. It, the ground blew his back out. So what were you going to say? Pause. Um... To be honest, I have no idea. I had a feeling. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> in and out. <laughs> yep. That's kind of how my thoughts have been lately. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They just fly out of there. It's just how's, so dead. How's, how's painting cars going? Painting cars has been fun, dude. I have... I'm so grateful for the amount of people that have been reaching out to me for stuff. Sorry, Tom, I can't pay your shit. I, I was busy. Oh, yeah. He was upset about that. He tried to sell it to me, and then he almost got me to cave. And then he said, nah, I, we already have somebody doing it. I'm like, you're a piece of work. It's already done. Uh, yeah, it looks great. I, I don't know what color it is, but I, whatever it is, it looks great. They did an awesome job on it. Hats off to them, bro. They really did that. And like your car the same is color. still not done. <laughs> Why do we got to talk about this every time? They built a car end to end. You built a car in, in four a month. days. And you can't even lie that you have a good facility here. Great facility. Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's getting done. Yeah, I did. If you saw my story today, I, Frankie looked pretty happy in there. I did not look happy. Nick, but... Nick replied to it right away, was like, yo, look how happy he looked. I don't look happy. <laughs> Why not? It's getting done, though. You know what? Sometimes it's okay to be happy. When it's painted, I'll be happy. Yeah, well. <laughs> then I'll be like, quite okay. a bit to go. Yeah, I'll be like, okay, the hard part's done. Now it's just the put everything together part. What I don't understand is how I see people do a sound deadening delete job, and they're done in an afternoon. And you've been doing this for nine weeks. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably been doing it for four hours, if that. Because you're spreading it out. Because you're like yeah, doing I, other stuff. I barely touched the car. I've been in that car one, two, three, maybe four days total since I ever started. Hmm. Right? Four days, Malcolm? Maybe. Maybe five. I don't even remember starting the desk, the sound ending, to be honest with you. I already forgot. Oh, I remember. Tell me it's been nine weeks, I'm pretty sure. With Eddie, I started. Yeah. yeah. Whatever that 30-minute video was. That was one day. Not a day. That was one hour. And then there was another time with Eddie. And then there was this week, pretty much. With Eddie? <laughs> no, no Eddie. <laughs> I, I was like, Eddie, you got to go away. I was like, I, I, we can't be filming this shit. Uh, Lewis came in and cleaned. I, I took Dude, all the sound sending out, and then he came in and fucking really cleaned it up. He fucking really did a good job yeah. on that. You better bounce think, on it for that. I think he's trying to convince me to hire him. Not a bad move. I know. It's not, not a bad move. I like this little tryout action. What do you mean? Like, oh, the tryout? Like, you know, yeah, what else we're looking, you, you know what else quality we're looking for? We need, we need, we, we need them to make really good food, so we're going to have to have you come here. Um, we're going to need a chef, so yep. we're going to need you to try out. Uh-huh, yep, and that's exactly what I'm getting at. We're going to need some sample platters. Yeah. Um, preferably some food that, ha that requires some sauce. I love a good sauce. <laughs> it's good. White sauce? It doesn't have to be white. It could be... Dude, <laughs> tell me if I'm wrong here, but if a sauce is that light orange color, it's hitting every time. Give me an time. example. Um, not Chick-fil-A sauce. That's kind of yellowish. That's good as hell, though. Um, from... Are you a Sarku guy? Like, did you eat Sarku? Fuck yeah, what? Of course you did. It's unhealthy as fuck Malcolm loves it. He absolutely hates it. Hey, hold on. Malcolm Cat, Malcolm Cat. Why, why don't we you have a mic, bro? Yeah, and why are you so quiet? Is it because you don't have a beer? There's another beer in the fridge. You want me to grab it? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't have to yell at us. <laughs> I wasn't just looking out for why you. Why don't you have a mic? Answer that one first. I, I'm afraid it's going to make the computer freeze. Oh. Oh, the really expensive computer that you guys built? You're, you're thinking the mic splitter is making your computer freeze. Take as much off as I can. As much load off this computer as I can. Did you survive? Did we survive last week? Yeah. Okay. So if we survive this week, plug the mic back in. No, then... stop. This has been so fun so far. You're going to ruin it. And no, no, no. Lose no I'm, all not, of I'm it. saying next week. I'm plugging it right now. Okay. He's going to chance it now. Probably a good episode to chance this on. Well, painting has been pretty fun, though. I emailed Malcolm no one some of the said stuff. anything about that. that I, uh... <laughs> can yeah, I get hit a glass me up if you, need, uh, if you need work done for the. What did we ask you? Sarku. Sarku. I hate Sarku. That shit is ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sarku sauce, there's a um, light sauce there that's orangish in color called Yum Yum Sauce. Ooh, Yum Yum Sauce. I know you fuck with that. I heard about that. You never had it? I don't know. We need to go right now, I think. Wait. Cut. Isn't that just the sauce that they give you? Like It's just fucking like spicy mayo or some shit. And sometimes oh. it's not even spi spicy mayo is an example right there. That's fucking spicy mayo. a hitter good. right there. I love any sauce that's that color. Vodka sauce. 
Yo, we we took you to see the new Alien movie last week. How did you enjoy that? Oh, yeah. Painting's been pretty fun. <laughs> uh, did you not enjoy that movie? D- dude, what I don't like is that... Car- we, I we dragged been, Carl to I w- a movie again. First of all, yeah, the whole time... <laughs> and I said it's not a scary the movie. The whole time I was... We had, we had Alicia and Brad here yeah. on last week's pod. We were having mad fun, and the vibes were fun. We could have just kept chilling and in here. Frankie really and then Frankie Frankie's did. like, hey, guys, we got to go get a movie. Man, I just made a couple friends. Yeah. We could have just sat here. We have a big-ass TV right here. I said, hey, I may or may not have a way to get that movie for free and in this room. See what I mean, Malcolm? He just wants to be partying at all times. No. That's all it is. Sometimes it's nice to just have people to talk Sometimes to. Sometimes it's and nice to see a movie. Most of the time, nowadays, I'm just at home. Talking to like four different people on the phone. I'm learning you so much after over the last two years. That's it. I'm getting tired. I'm turning into you, which is weird as hell. I hope it happens more. Anyway, so you enjoyed this movie or what? When did you realize that it was a horror movie? That wasn't really a horror movie. That was like a sci-fi. It's technically a horror movie. Um. Well, so if, before you start, Carl walked out right in the first ten minutes. To had go no to the context. Bathroom. No context. <laughs> Missed the whole part where they talk about the alien and everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you had no idea. Yeah, was- so when the movie started, first of all, I let Frankie and them go because I was like, damn, it'd be really cool if I, like, you know, I should get people snacks because Frankie's taking care of the tickets. Or, or and Eddie's there too. So and I don't really know what Eddie eats. You didn't buy anyone snack. Oh, you mean Seven Eleven? Yeah. So whatever. when you yeah. guys went to the movie theater, I went to Seven Eleven, got six taquitos and a bag of gummy worms. I gave the gummy worms to Eddie, and I had six taquitos for for Malcolm. Yeah. For, and I to split. You just pulled that shit out of your pocket. Had them right in the Patagonia shorts. Had them all in there. Six of them loaded up for yeah. action. And you got me cookies. And I got Frankie cookies and. <laughs> Malcolm, sh- Malcolm and Princess show up. I'm like, yo, I got you taquitos. Malcolm goes, yo, I got three too. Oh my god! How so many- we had nine taquitos in the cup. Holy shit! <laughs> Did you have some? What's yeah, you doing? I, I mean, I ate my three before I got there. <laughs> Who the fuck Jesus. buys snacks with a movie in and doesn't eat it in a movie? You ate three of them. You probably yeah. well, gobbled I, I them. Yeah, two. Yeah. I gave one to Princess. Okay. Anyway, well, we show up, anyway. and I had the need. Or I had real you can't have because now I had six. You can't have six taquitos, no bev. No bev. So I went to the I was like, when should I go? I'm gonna go right now. Because I'm if I'm gonna miss anything, I'm gonna just miss it once and eat the popcorn for the rest of the movie. Not a bad call. And you were too far for me to reach because Frankie had popcorn, but I'm not I'm not fucking yo, tell Frankie to pass that shit down. <laughs> And Frankie's a talker in the movies. Yeah. I had to tell him to shut the fuck up. Carl once. got a little mad once. Because <laughs> I do the same thing. Carl. I'm literally we Malcolm. We were watching, and <laughs> it was a, I don't know if, I forget what the fuck was happening, but I literally I all I end. could hear was Frankie saying something, and no one else is going to say anything, not for nothing. No one that guy in front of us was not going to turn around and go, "Hey, buddy." He looked like a he was there with his. He's not saying oh, anything. No one's ever said to me to shut up in the movies, Dude, other than Malcolm. All I could hear is you and Princess. <laughs> Like a bunch of schoolgirls right there, just talking, just whispering. It's and I'm fun. Like, I'm like, damn, me and Malcolm really took our daughters to watch a movie today. <laughs> Dead ass. Like, what the That's fuck? How it feels. You better watch it, Malcolm. Okay. So then I, I come back, and it is exactly as Frankie said. <laughs> I had no idea what movie we were in. Yep. And now there's every just, time you look over, yo, what kind of movie is this? Like, the, the first thing I see is like. There's a, if you haven't seen this movie or go see the trailer, the main character is like a, 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 a younger white girl and like an older black guy. And I was like, what is the connection here? And then I found out that they were like related by somehow. And then 45 minutes in the movie, I finally see a, like an <laughs> wait, alien thing. Wait, back up. Did you not know that that guy was a robot until 45 minutes so, in? So she, in the, I took a, oh I, I don't God. know if I mentioned this before, but I took a cinema class once. I'm, I'm a bit movie buff myself. <laughs> you might have missed, you might have missed like the whole part. Where no, they- no, 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 no. So hold on. Usually in those earlier scenes in a movie, <laughs> they will try to establish that character in the viewer's brain, right? You just thought he was so, retarded. <laughs> are you done? No, it's funny. 
<laughs> it's just funny because you missed everything within 10 minutes and then you get in, you're like, all right, let's start this. But and it was a good movie. And nothing is said. To, to, to summarize, I did enjoy the movie. It was a good movie. Not, yeah. None of it was cheesy. You to were me. like this the whole time on, on the edge of your seat. Because it was interesting. And Malcolm was too. Yeah, And we were trying to watch the movie. Instead, I, all we hear is Princess and Frankie yeah. in the back. Oh, <laughs> me and Malcolm, bitch. me and Malcolm sitting there. Bro. Dude. Fuck up. All you have to do is and not, dude, at one car point, goes, shut the fuck up. Dude, it was silent. And I, <laughs> I decided to yell at Frankie and it got quiet as hell. I was like, bro, shut the fuck up. I was like, I don't even think I was talking. You were talking. It was silent. I was like, fuck. There's like 10 minutes of action scenes going on. And all I, I'm i like, what the hell is going on? Quiet. All I hear is Frankie. Oh, my God. They're going to come out right there. Oh, my God. I'm like, you know what, Frankie? They are. They might. They might come out of there. They might. But you know what? I'd rather watch it. <laughs> like. But so in the earlier scenes of a movie, they will try to do that. So I think she did something where like she reached and oh, touched so his that. neck and like there was a yeah. chip of some sort. And I was like, whoa, like that dude's robotic. Yeah. Like, OK, so there's that. And then he's an android. And then they mentioned like AI. And I was like, oh, my God. This is a fucking future movie. Fuck. Like, I don't know what's about to go down. And then I continue to watch the movie. I and love I, how you had no idea. And I do I do remember. So this is how I picked figured out what movie it was. I do remember that you like the Alien vs. Predator movie, though. One of I the really older ones. I don't like that movie. But you yeah. do, but you've mentioned it more than once. I like Alien. You literally mentioned it more than once. I don't like Alien vs. Predator. Whatever some sort of context like that. That's what the movie I remember. It's a fun movie. So then I was like, okay, this is that. Yeah, and then family. I had my doubts because I was like, I haven't seen a fucking. Is this a Star Trek? What what is going on? Like they're they're fucking. So you really didn't know? Like, no, it, I almost thought it was a Maze Runner movie. I was like, damn, they got into space now. Like what the fuck? Um, but then you saw the Alien. Yeah, dude, good movie. And then you put, you shared some shit on your story of uh, something something behind the scenes, and it's like a person oh, actually yeah. doing it. And I was yeah. like, oh, that explains that because it was it's all. Well, the graphics all practical was sick effect, like but that. a lot of it's practical. Effects. My grandfather, when he was alive, he would fucking love that shit because he he just likes seeing like stuff yeah. like that, like crazy. I'm glad they did that. Like, yeah, that. that that was pretty cool. The last one they did, they didn't, and it was all CGI, and it was fucking terrible. You know what I don't like about when I go to the movies is that when I people I talk. do I do eat a bunch of <laughs> aside from that I do eat a bunch of popcorn like I'm shoveling it. That's good though. Do you know what that does to your bowels? You shit out an ear of corn, bro. <laughs> like a whole cob comes yeah, out. Yeah, just. Insane, insane, and that was a weekday pod. I think that shit's bad for your teeth. Or was it dude. a Friday? It was a Friday, I think. Popcorn, I get a floss like crazy after you eat that. Oh, dude, yeah, just Fucked. fucking, and then you got mouthwash everything. Dude, did you notice that at movie theaters they actually have a little cup now for you to bring extra butter to your seat? Ew, is that what that was? I was like, what am I using this cup here for? And I was That's, like, oh, the, should, the big back in me was like, yo, I could some, bring butter. Someone, someone should nuke us after that was invented. That That's when we deserve to. No, no, no. I think one of the best hacks, I never tried this, but I feel like it would work the best off science is when you put the straw in the bucket yeah, that would and work. you do that. And as you're pulling the straw, yeah. it should. Malcolm, speaking of butter, what? You, know, you know what I'm ready for, bro? Because you know where oh, we're going next I know next what you're week. ready for. You know for. where we're going next week. Culver's, we're going to final. Culver's. We're going to final BZ, and we are going to Culver's, and I'm getting a butter burger with mm. chili on the side. We're going to Culver's on the way there. We're I'm gonna send mad pictures Culver's. to Malcolm the whole time. I'm gonna be like, "Yo, up, you no. could have, you could have came, but instead you had to go play manager for a little bit." Are um, we are we keeping the podcast secret, or can I start like start saying it, hype it up? What are you talking about? The podcast we're gonna do, dude. I just want people to know that the next series of podcasts last year. They were all hitters. We had, I had taken a lot of influence from those podcasts: the Josh podcast, the Bayside podcast, uh, the TF Works podcast, dude. Breaking wait, the Breaking podcast, dude. The Bratwurst that we had with Derek. Also, Ooh. I've been following Derek. He's got a little YouTube wait, channel going about? on. Was that the trip to Final about? Yes. Damn, I was good. I did one on the on that trip too. Good. Well, this time we got eight. Actually, there's still only one before. You got a motherfucker there. working. Yeah, this. Yeah, if you are. I'm gonna need to bring that bag with me right there. It's yeah, you probably would. Eight, eight before Saturday. So that's three days. Oh, God. 
Now he found out. No, well, you already told me that. Oh, I did? In three I'm pretty days. prepared for that. It's basically three a day. Well, I think one day is up. Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one day. Thursday, there's only two. So far. I've been talking a lot lately, so like I feel like this is just going to be fine. It's going to be fun. All the all the people are good. We I know. I think I know all of them except one. Only like, one of them outed you're themselves. Gonna, you're going to love the one. And though. two, a, a second one almost did, and... I feel like they pulled back from it and wait, who was it? No, I forgot who I'm not. I don't want to say, but it was, when do you want me to tell you when we pull into their driveway? Okay. Okay. Maybe. Or when we're just driving there, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to spend a lot of time with you. I'm going to tell you on the, on the drive. That way, you know, everyone. Yeah. So yeah. You can like, Bro, I can't wait to take my fucking shoes off in the shed. That is not happening. Another rule that would have been okay in the Sequoia. Cause I could have been far away. Are we done? Dude. Does your shit have dual zone? No, bitch. What about heated seats? It might get no. Chilly. Oh, the mirrors. It's summer. Wait, wait, the mirrors don't fold on their own either. Or your, the sunroof. Why would what? you need your mirrors to fold? Why? We have a sunroof, right? Oh no, we don't. That's right. <laughs> You're so. Funny. What about class leading legroom? Do we have class leading legroom back there? No, right. No, but you'll be riding in a class leading truck. <laughs> so that's Dude. good enough. That truck would be so much nicer to drive. No, it would not, bro. dude. No, it would not. Yes. Malcolm, back me up. Do something. I would even do an oil change on it. I don't know. Damn. You've ridden in no, both. No, it's going to be more comfortable, the Sequoia. You've ridden but it can't in both. Lug, I can't lug the amount of Ooh, stuff. Oh, I just got some paint delivered to my house. You can't, yeah. Like Malcolm said, you can't bring the amount of stuff we need to bring. That's for sure. I will not rebuttal that. That is true. Look, Carl, if you want to fly back instead of drive. No, man. The drive back was half the shit because I turned around at one point and drive and Malcolm literally has fucking air, um, ear pros on. Yeah, trying to save himself from you. And no, because he's getting horrendous wind noise. No, no, no. Bro, no. Don't, don't even. No. Ask me how much wind noise is in my cabin when I'm driving. Shit, I forgot to fix that. I actually... Am bothered when that happens, and I fix it. I need to fix immediately. This. I'm not a, a note. You could drop a pin in that bitch, and it would you would not hear it. I'm gonna fix that problem. What about a seven inch screen that plays movies? You got that in there? In there? <laughs> he must. You must. You must. Shut up. One thing I do like about your chef, though, is the 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 middle console is beautiful. Thank it you. It is wide. That's as why fuck. I bought it. I'm not even kidding. I wouldn't have bought one with a bench seat. My brother has a bench seat one. Yeah. We we drove that all the way to New Hampshire, or no, to Boston with me and our buddy Yon Boy and our dog, rest in peace, on the floor. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make myself a note right now. About what? I have to fix that rear window. That's the worst part of the inside. Brother, if... If, if, we, if the time comes and it still has that, I... I'm going to laugh so hard. I'm going to fix it. No, it's it's definitely not going to be as... Dude, that thing is... That, watch, it's gonna, you're going to be like, it's going to be such a small fix. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think Whole it's, door. No. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think it's going to be that what crazy. Is it? What, what do you think it is? You know how the windows pop open? Yeah. It's something to do with that. If I had to guess, it sounds like the latch is fucked like on a 240 sunroof. But when you when you actually open it, everything seems fine. Yeah, but just like yes, a 240 exactly. sunroof. Like because the latch sunroof. is no longer thing, so that all you have to do is put something thicker right there exactly. so that when it closes it... That's what I'm it, hoping it's, it's going to be I'm like. pretty sure we tried that last year. No, we tried duct tape on the outside. Well, maybe we should do that again. It didn't help. So we're going to try to fix it. Oh, my word. All right, so I'll try to fix that. Anything else, princess? Hmm. No, I'm not putting a TV in the car. Yeah. Because you would just talk over it the whole time. Anyway. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Nah. I would just watch Murder Docs. I told you I was watching. Today I watched. Oh, my yeah. favorite thing to do during work is uh, playing that in the background. Because then they're always just talking in those anyway. I don't really have to watch it. Can you give me an imitation of what a scene would look like? Um, believe it or not, he actually wasn't the murderer. But... So and so and so and so da 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 da, and then it's always like, and I'm like, oh wow, look at that! He actually was the murderer. Like, but today I watched um the Aaron Hernandez one. I feel like they always have a guy that just comes on and they're like, 
And then we asked the officer that was in charge on the night of the murder. And then she's like, guy, he's like, no, who did they? You know, things like this usually don't happen around these parts of town. I like when they interview people like who were a vital part of it. Not just some like historian who's like, I heard from this person that this person said this. Like this person was a part of it. And there's video of them like at the place. And I'm like. The sheriff was there. Yep. And then the sheriff is like some crazy. I had no idea that Aaron Hernandez, the football player. I'm not a football person. I don't know a lot about football oh, or anything like that. About? Yeah, the football player for the Patriots. He murdered everyone? He murdered like a, bu- a couple people. For what? Yo, you know what's crazy? He did all of those murders, right? I think halfway through one of the episodes, it's a three episode thing. Halfway through one of the episodes, they find a car that's been hidden from a pre- previous mo- murder or something like that. Malcolm? Hold on to your chair. Oh. It was a silver, limited, um, a sport edition, forerunner, facelifted, like a like a with the LED tails. Sounds like Malcolm. Silver too. mint. I was like, ooh, with the 18s that that Pat got on his ooh. shit, dude. That <laughs> it was a that was a good part of the documentary or biopic, whatever you want to call it. Wait, that. but why did he kill all these people? I don't. I don't really know, to be honest. You watched I was, the show. Bro, there was no motive. I guess he was depressed. I don't know. He had a hard childhood. Wanted to play gangster for a little bit after he got money. I don't know. I'm just listening to this. And who the fuck am I to give input? Like, I got it. What do you mean? Out. You watched it. I was watching it. <laughs> that sounds like it's a background noise or something. I, it is, usually. Yeah. But, man, like, I don't know what else to watch. So I, you, you know what? You, you, you might watch, watch Alien, the first one. No. No. Honestly, if I didn't go to watch that movie, it wouldn't hurt my life. If That's I didn't. crazy. But you you know what you would like? This um one where it was like it, it talks about previous terrorism attacks. Like well, failed like ones. Like failed ones. It was pretty interesting. And they, they oh. talk about it in a pretty interesting way. Failed ones? Like what? Like the ones that they stopped. Like what? They talked about one where they were trying to blow up Chevy. Like or like, plant? or one, yeah, or one where they were trying to um, blow up the subway. That one was called the subway plot. I think it was episode one or two. You sound like domestic terrorists. Okay. This is, does it not fit your, it doesn't fit your standard? No, because it's, pro- it's probably propaganda, honestly. It's probably like a bunch of anarchists trying to blow up a Chevy plant because they No, the no, no, water. no. They're talking about like how people make bombs and shit off of like, like the the terrorist group website. Apparently, they got websites for these terrorists. Yeah, I know. I know that that the exists. Cookbook. That's what it's called. They called it a cookbook. No, that's the anarchist cookbook. See what I the was, fuck is I that? I knew it. No, no, no. They're talking about like ISIS and shit and like Al Qaeda and shit. I know, but that book has been around for a while. I don't know anything about this. I'm not an expert. I just watch it because it's honestly I've had enough of watching. Like, I mean, they there is like a network of terrorists that like. It's scary. They t- communicate and they got like a terrorist Facebook. Where they like talk like to that. each other. I mean, that's why like we have no we have no uh, cut the shit or America's coming. I swear to God. That's why we have no privacy anymore because of nine eleven. They passed all these laws and now the government can just look in, into everything. They've been able to do that. Chill out. I don't think so. They have. They have to have. No. There's too much technology out there that is able to. Well, not like in two thousand. There wasn't that much. Yeah, man. Now was the time to be alive, wasn't it? I think now is the time to be alive, kind of. I mean, I'm having an okay time. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to final bout next week. Sounds like it's going to be a good trip. Dude, it sounds like there's going to be a lot of people here, and I'm really excited. We might, me and Malcolm were discussing a little idea we might have for the booth. Okay. So maybe you guys could stop by for that. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Unfortunately, that content... Is only going to be on the Patreon, probably. Oh, really? What are you going to do? Interviews? Kind of. Yeah. We're going to have the mixer there, and we're just going to just talk to people. It's a good idea. Have the camera running. We should, we should do it inside the thing and just grab people. No. The grabbing people sounds not good. Um, <laughs> How are you going to get people, then? Maybe invite them, talk to them. Yeah, grab them. You're creepy. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I think it'd be a fun idea. Yeah, uh, probably not at the booth, though, because it's going to be loud as fuck. If you're in that area, you got a Harley <laughs> Davidson for under two grand, hit me up. Um, <laughs> hey, he'll ride uh, it back. No. That would be perfect. No. Why? I'm not riding back. Why not? 15 hours. It's not that weird. 
Yeah, I thought you said you like riding motorcycles. I yeah, see. I have the Sequoia because I'm comfortable in there. I have oh a carrier on the back. Just boop, ride boop, the bike. Back. Ride it all the way home. Malcolm will ride it halfway. No, that sounds terrible. That does sound terrible. A bunch <laughs> of pussies. And, and pr- if, if I'm buying it, chances are it's not going to be that great. Yeah, that's the scary part. I was just complaining about this because, like, dude, I hate the fact that everything I buy is never Sh- the shitty. way that I want it. So then it, it immediately after. No, I'm not. I just Malcolm. do shit that makes sense. Tap in, Malcolm. You do be being a little cheap sometimes. I you will do sacrifice. be being a little cheap. He's fucking cheap. <laughs> I will sacrifice my own time, sweat, and and blood versus spending money some fake paper shit okay now continue to w- on what you were gonna say oh no it you're sounds fucking stupid. you're being a fucking well now it sounds stupid what go on that everything gonna... every time i buy something i oh. it's never up to my taste or standard so then i have to change something almost immediately or it's broken there you go yeah dude why don't you start drifting again <laughs> that's the only comeback why don't you finish your car <laughs> Good one. Why don't I go sell my car, build another car in the time that you will build one? Good one. <sighs> You're so <laughs> fucking gay. Wait, you can't say that. No, you called me retarded earlier, so. No, I said you thought he was a retard. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> he was, but no, he was an android. We're taking the Sequoia. Or if you want, we'll take both. That's fine. And then I'll race you. You could t- We could take your own car. That's fine. I have no problem. With I that. will race you up there. <sighs> I don't want to. <laughs> dude malcolm you cannot be excited for this no it's gonna suck 100 percent. it's gonna be fun though what? it's gonna suck still <laughs> it is gonna suck it's just a ride home for malcolm yeah, yeah. it's just it gets That's annoying when your your knees start yeah to, you can, mm. your knees start to get sore that you can yeah yeah you don't even like that what is this you what you thought i was gonna light a cigarette in yeah. here yeah <laughs> And you were about to let it happen? No, you can't. Smoke. Oh my god, you're crazy! I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I've never smoked a cigarette inside, like a house. What? Even in college, that was like the one rule. We'd be lighting blunts and shit in there, no problem. But for some reason, the That's smell of I a know cigarette we're ages. inside, like I feel like is. I've never bogged in the house. Why? <laughs> I mean, they were smoking in diners still when I was. That's sick. <laughs> No, I think I caught I caught the tail end. They had the the vending machines still, yeah, I mean, but they were a, those were like getting phased out. Yeah, what is this guy eating over here? A cookie. Okay, <laughs> he snuck that in real quick. Dude, this is this should be fun though. Hey, I'm not saying anything, but I am gonna say something. I'm trying to get these stickers made, and if you find me, you should buy one. How much? Five dollars a piece. That's or a lot. Damn. Two, or two for 15. How about that? That's crazy. That's, wait, what? Oh, yeah. You, you confused about the math? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> wait, yeah. The math don't I'm work. I'm just kidding. No, but they're going to be like five bucks a piece. They're just little dinky little stickers to maybe help support my pain booth. Case back. 20, 20 bucks to look. No, that's Run Street. Nick's going. Dude, yeah. I'm excited that Nick's going. Jake's going. Jake. Parrish. What? My boy. Who let him go? He was there last year. Was he really? Was he really? Yes. Yeah, How but but fun? this year I Who feel like... Who did he go with? This year, me oh. and Jake have become more good friends. Like, Jake has taught me that you can really push the boundary a little bit. With what? With just shit you do. I'm just like, bro, why are you... Why are you riding pit bikes <laughs> to the store <laughs> on a public-ass street with no shirt on? <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. He... And, and Bobby and Steve, like, and, and Chris, too. Like, I wish be fucking, they would all come to Final Bout. They be showing me that, that I, I, I watch their stories, and I'm like, fuck, like, that just looks fun, dude. Bring the pit bikes. Let's go. Don't say that, because they'll fucking that do was, that That shit. would be sick. I don't think you could ride those at uh, Shawno. I don't think I saw a single person with one of those. Eh, it's new ownership now, you know. Nah, I, I feel like that might not <laughs> be a good idea, actually. Jake would just show up with it. No, I hope we do run into Jake though. He he's always fun. Who else is gonna be there? Uh, that's that lives over there. I I wanted to see if I could like if they need help in in the announcing realm. I would love to do that. I would love for them to ask you to do that. But I'm not gonna reach out because it, then it's just like I know I don't want to be a pick me kid. But I would love to do that. I feel like you would be good at that. Should I try right now? 
Here comes Faction Motorsports around the okay, bend. Okay, dude. <laughs> do, do, do Front Street. Here comes Front Street. Coming up to the balcony. Josh Delees blows apart the bumper that I worked really hard on, but it didn't come out really that great. And Tom Nazaro closes out the gap. Perfect. And Jimmy, nice in third. <laughs> Follows up the rear. Follows up the rear. All of them hitting all the apexes just right. Filling out the zones. You need some work, but I think you're going to be good. I think that it would be fun. I think Sarah could train you. Yeah, they should have Sarah do it. They should have you and Sarah do it. No. That would be fun. I feel like Sarah, I would, I would, because Sarah would take the, the reins. She, she, she could do that all on her own. But Palmer's not doing it this year. Palmer's driving. Yeah, so who's doing it? I think maybe Damien or something. He did a really good job at the summit. Damien from Car Shop Karushi. Really? That yeah, would be good. He did a really good job at um, Summit. It was really entertaining. Yeah. Um, it probably is him. And he, and he was... It's Damien, so you're like... It be, I feel like Damien is always on the upper of, what the fuck did he just say? Yeah. But That's how I feel when I look at He did Instagram. a really great job of locking in. I feel like he knew the audience that day, and like he, he did a really great job. So now I'm like, they're probably good. He probably he, he more than likely will probably hopefully do it, dude. When I when his stories pop up on my thing, I'm like, oh, here we go. I better oh, you buckle up. Yeah, you better you you read all of those. I probably. do not. I can't even see with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, my phone is 12 mini, so it's fucking tiny. <laughs> and then yeah, he'll be writing like paragraphs. I'm like, okay, but then like you'll see some crazy shit, and I'm like, yep, definitely should have worn my seatbelt before I opened up that fucking story. Dude, we got to think of some way something fun. I definitely want to have maybe like a little. When we have the, um, the little faction event or whatever we try to do, and if it's like a club thing, I definitely would love all three. Like James, Chad, miss all them boys over there. Yeah, we should have them back on. James cracks me up just every time I see him. I don't know why. Wait, we didn't have them on as a team. We had them on separately. Yeah. You want to have them all come here? Yeah. After they all work crazy amounts of stuff you see james in there yes damien damien would come well damien's just down for anything you could ask him to go to mexico tomorrow i bet he would say yes <laughs> yeah no they would come they would come okay well I'll see this. who else is on the team chad with the miata i don't know did if we meet i don't him? know if did i meet uh, him here i don't know if chad has the Miata, or i think he might be trying to sell the miata i think he bought another car i'm sorry chad i don't think i met him right i, I mean i also don't know if i've ever met Chad, but oh, I could okay. already tell you we'd be friends. Well, yeah, you're friends with everyone. Not not fact. No. Some some people I'm not friends with. Them. Name drop them. Don't um, name drop them. Tom is I mean Oh uh, shit. <laughs> no. Yeah, I forgot. No, no. Tom no. said he was gonna do a podcast with us, but then Oh yeah. No, I literally canceled first, so I can't say anything. No, he, you said last week they were gonna be here this week. Well Tom thinks he's not gonna finish his car before Tuesday. I said, it, I think you're going to be finished by Monday, so why don't you come here Monday and or... Wait, what? What? Hold on. You want to do a podcast before we leave for final bout? Yes. No. When are you done with work, Tuesday? No. When are you done with work, Tuesday? No, I have work. <laughs> I'm asking you when you're done. I got a full shop next week. When I didn't you, think we were going to do a pod. When are you done with work on Tuesday? What do you mean? Normal time. 4.30. Okay. So, I have work to do. Dude. I gotta pick you up. We gotta go. When are we going? Tuesday. I thought you said Wednesday morning. No, Tuesday night. Okay, then you can pick me up Tuesday night. I'll have all the shit that I need to get done. Done. We gotta do a podcast. Right? What? Wait, what else do you have to do, bro? I have kits. I got Tom's brother's stuff. Oh, he's gonna have to wait. I got a hood. Tom's I got a bro- lip. Chris needs to wait. What else is this stuff? I got John's kit. John? Fortunato? John, you got to wait. Sorry. Um, yeah, you overbooked. You, no. over, you overbooked. I did not. You overbooked, kid. I just work. No. You oh overbooked. My God. You and, overbooked. And guess what? Now we are offering cut and buff. So we're end to end. Wow. Who's doing this service? Daryl, my roommate, I forgot, used to do this in a past life. And I was like, hey, man, I got this car. It's going to Weckfest. It's our good friend of mine. He was one of the first people that supported me. Rosin, shout out to you, bro. Um, And then I painted his JZX from a dark green 
mm-hmm. which almost looked black. Which was actually a really nice color. It was a really nice color. So ebony or uh, teal ebony or something, pearl, whatever, yeah. from Toyota. And then I painted it to a black. And, like, it didn't come out, like, as amazing as I would have wanted to. It, it still looked good, but it wasn't, like, weak fest good. So now Daryl's just chefing that. And you're going to be able to see that car. If you're in that weak fest mood this weekend, that's going on. <coughs> that is definitely a mood you got to be in, too. Dude, I kind of, I, I thought about going because I kind of just want to see my work. Yeah, I mean, you can go as a spectator, but if you're, it is if you're expensive a vendor. It is expensive. Oh, my God. I think it's Wait, like $50 really? to go. What? Yeah. And if I go, then I'm just going to make a little video of me walking around there. But I really just want to go see Rosin's car. I mean, everything is expensive now, so I guess it is what it is. We worked really hard on that, and the fact that Daryl's got a hand in it now makes me pretty happy because, like, Is he still working on it? Yeah, he's working on it right now. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm right. painting the bumper and the kit tomorrow morning. Because I'm doing this. <coughs> Bless you. First time I sneezed on here. I already, uh, but, um, I, but I planned for that already. Yeah, we can't go eat. You got to go finish this car. No. Daryl's working in the booth right now. I cannot spray right now. It cannot happen. You and just want juicy platters that bad. Maybe, but no. It's like I planned for the podcast. The podcast, the podcast is here because I like it and I still have fun doing it. And I will continue to have fun doing it. So that's why I make time for it. You make time for shit you want to do. You see what I'm saying? Like that gray thing over there. I was going to say, you see how that car is not being worked on. The gray thing in the corner. Where's the love? No one really wants to do anything on that. What's wrong with this world, mama? (laughs) (laughs) People acting like they They ain't got no no trauma. (laughs) No, it's no mama. Yeah. No trauma. You do got lots of trauma. That's for sure. (laughs) No, but that's, I don't know, I'm just making time for it. I watched the Demi Lovato documentary last night. Yeah, you need to, you need to, like, get, what? that's, that, what? that, that kind get? of bullshit right there. <laughs> that's the kind of shit that needs to go so then you can make time for the other shit. Okay. Put a TV in that room and make it more comfortable for you to work in there. You could watch that Demi Lovato doc <laughs> while you're working. I don't think it hits the same. No, it While does. you're grinding shit. It does. And put some headphones like, on. I used to throw up. Like, I don't think it's Dude, good. put some headphones on. Fucking start working. I used to do crack. Get yourself some wireless ones so you could just move without any of this. Yeah, yeah, I and know. And then, then yeah. you're in the shop doing two things at once, and you're hitting all of your you're getting sensory overload. those AirPod things, but then I was like, that's for rich people. I'm not doing that shit. Bro. Homeless people have AirPods. <laughs> well, we, that's a whole other subject it's we can insane. talk about. Yeah. They but, have cell phones, too. Yeah. I don't know how. Migrant workers, man, just taking the money. <laughs> just taking the fucking money. Hey, be quiet. You're going to have to hire some of them soon. No. In-house. In-house. End-to-end. Welcome to Body Town. Body Town, baby. Body Town. Dude, I've been calling it Body Town because, like, everyone, some days the house literally looks like... A fucking war zone. Body Town, USA. Bo- Welcome to Body Town, USA. <laughs> we, no one's going to listen to this shit. <laughs> what are we doing? Malcolm, is this the worst podcast that we ever did? Yet? Uh, it's entertaining. Yeah, is it? I, I'm laughing. I'm falling asleep and I'm in it. That's bad. okay. What a fucking dick. Uh, hit the fucking smelling salts, pussy. Don't. No. Yeah. No, I know you're a drug addict. Look at him. Look how excited he got when he said that. He was like, his eyes fucking lit up. I don't know. Dude. Look at him. Look at him. That's the exact same look Demi Lovato had in her eyes. Don't do that. No. No, Carl. No, Carl. Dude, come on, man. I learned. Okay, that's Did you smell enough. it? Yeah. God. Dude, I, it actually gave me a little PTSD, and I was like... <laughs> and you closed it right back yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> let me put this away. I I actually re-watched that clip, and me seeing myself... <laughs> Why is that not on Instagram it yet? Did not, um, it did not translate to as how bad it felt. It actually hurt, like, pretty bad. Yeah. It hurt a lot. Um, but it hurt good. Yo, Malcolm, put on the, put out that clip I sent. I, 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 Mal, I'm, I need what you to... What did you see? I need you to see... I want the viewers to see the work I'm cranking out because I feel like not you a lot of You made a video of yourself? No. 
Uh, I just sent the video that uh, I sent earlier of like when they see, they follow you. These we can follow, follow you. Carl, I didn't get it. Okay. Okay. Well, well, it was a really good video <laughs> and it was super smooth. I thought, wait, wasn't the one you showed me? I still just, yeah, but I still just cannot believe that I sprayed that. Like all because Diego is teaching me to shit. Good job. Nuts. Nuts. That's what's up. Crazy. You're learning a skill. Dude, I'm going to start a shop and then fucking hate my life for real. I mean, you'll just understand things a little bit better. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> I don't think I will. I think that when my business starts to operate for real, yeah, I'm going to show you. What are you going to show me? That you can have fun. I, I have oh, fun. Oh, yeah. We're going to have pizza parties and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm's, like, Malcolm's like, damn. We've had like one pizza party ever, Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had one. <laughs> yeah. Wait, for real? It was good pizza, though. Oh, it was good pizza. Damn. Pizza sounds good as fuck. Pizza party? I don't know. I mean, that's just a corporate thing because that is. It's like it's get. like, hey, sorry, we overworked the fuck out of you guys this quarter. Let me uh, buy you a pie. Yeah, I take people to Korean barbecue instead. Dude, no fire. I would rather have that. I really don't though. I did it like a couple of times. Yeah, I got to do that more often. Not the yearly, John. Yeah, but no, nah, we haven't ripped a karaoke in a while. Ooh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> what should we do when we go to Shano? I think we should hit that bowling alley where everybody goes. Yeah. Fuck, I wish I had time to paint the fucking car. And but the you whole You just said you didn't want to bring it. The whole rear bumper is all fucked. I would have to go get a new one of those and that's not happening. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll we'll go next year. I just had this picture just now where I was just cruising in that thing just That's what I was thinking. I know it would be sick. Slow drive past and you just hear the bass and the rattle. That does not rattle like that. I have a good sound system in there. It's just like a meme, you know. Got Ken Woods. And, and a pie in your head. Unit. What song would be playing? Um, Black Betty. I yeah, that'd be that'd be a good song. That'd be a good song. <laughs> or like uh, maybe some. Uh, what the hell was that uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire song? It's like I just found. I just like favorited it on Spotify. Oh, the Chris other day. probably knows it though. One thousand percent. He probably played it today because we're connected. He probably played like it that. three times a day. <sighs> How is it in this shop, Franklin? Um, I would say it's pretty good. It like is? the shop shop? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What the fuck other shop is here? I, I don't know if you... There's many departments here now, you know? Yeah, you have a vapor <laughs> honing section. Not yet, but that's soon. Sick. Is that going to go in that little room in there? Yeah, it's coming that's coming together. That's going to be sick. That's going to be... I think we're going to be up and running next week, but we're going to be testing stuff out. We're not going to be like... We're doing a test run for a couple weeks. What's a vapor home job? Yeah. Lewis Lewis wants to fuck around with that. So. Do I have anything that y'all could fucking vapor home that isn't like fucked? Carburetors? Nah. Oh, like on a bike? Yeah. I do, bro, that's going <laughs> to... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> that shit is going to look like ass the moment it goes back on. And my bike isn't running Because it's right going to look so nice and then everything's... And then everything else is going to look so bad. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Lewis said he's got some stuff, too. But there's plenty of stuff in the shop that we can mess around with. Dude, but. you do not need to be over there vapor honing your shit anymore. Just I'm throw not it doing in the fucking anything. Glass. Thank God. Yeah. Did we get any questions? Did we actually do one of those? Yep, I'm on it. Oh, okay. All right, sick. Um, what else about Final Bout, though? We're going, guys, we're leaving. I'm just really excited. Hopefully, we're dude. leaving Tuesday night. We'll see I, what happens with Carl. I am so fucking excited. You know why? Because the last, last year, we did this shit, and again... I know it might not seem like I have like a crazy shop right now or anything, but I Malcolm, literally you read them off. I me? literally started. Holy fuck! There's a shitload of them. Malcolm right. can read them off. Rifle them. Start rifling through. I'm gonna try to. We're gonna try to get these quick. What were, but, you were just saying something. Um, we came back from final bout and I made those small changes and leaps. I started painting and stuff. Like I, I went after what I wanted to do. I we we did some things that Thank I you, learned man. from people. You did a lot of stuff and took year. some risks. And how, now, how do we get this Diego guy on here? Now I have bro. I've been trying to get him on here for so fucking long. They live in Georgia. It's not going to happen until. Mm. And he's going to bring Bryson. He has to bring Bryson. They're they they're like, the, you know how I go. <laughs> That shit weird as hell. Yeah. That's Bryson. He did that? <laughs> yeah. He ruined our lives. Okay. Yeah. Well, Bryson. Or the yo. Which one? You know how I'd like be pulling into the shop and I'd be fucking yoing? Like, do it. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that shit's funny as hell. But no, those are, those, those are, bro, I'm on the phone with them. Wait, okay. do they, are they like, they work together? No, they're just friends. Team oh. Baldhead. Team Bald Head. Go check it out. They're, they are on Team Baldhead. Yeah. You're the one that said to them, who's got the no bald one's head. bald. Yeah. And they were like, no one. And I was like, that's all they remember of you. Well, that, that's kind of weird, right? And Bryson's like, what's so cool about this Frankie guy? He fucking doesn't even really drive that. <laughs> Tell him nothing. I, that's what I said. He's not cool at all. Cool. Well, He's not the invited. Fuck that? But Diego is No, invited. not. I need to have him on because I know you guys would beef. I need to see it. What is he going to beef with me about? Y'all look alike. I'm just kidding. You guys look nothing alike. And a tractor fell on Bryson actually once. We can just talk about that. Oh, so he's a little more messed up. <laughs> you did not. You're fucked up. I'm just saying this. You say he's got beef with me, so. No, he does not have beef with you. But he, he, has, he had, does still have a cool car, but it's broken. Get your shit together, dude. Put that shit together. So bring them on as Team Baldhead. Yeah, I'm trying. Well, hurry up. Dude, that, fly see, him out, Carl. We all got jobs and <laughs> shit. What the fuck is Ethan calling me for? He needs something. That Ethan? No, this is my Ethan. Don't answer. I'm going to answer right now. What? Yo. I'm on the podcast. Please don't say anything dumb. Nope, I'm hanging up. I'm, I thought this was going to be funny. This guy's talking on the podcast. Sorry. What was it? What he said? Life is life. I thought he was going to say something funny. Ethan's pretty funny. What'd he say? Uh, something about final bout. That's the topic tonight. Shit. <laughs> Probably should have <laughs> asked him what he was telling me. That's literally the topic. Fuck. I feel bad, too. I hung up on him pretty hard. Okay. I'm not well. going to call him back until we're done. All okay, right. first question. Yeah. <laughs> what Thank cars you. are you guys excited to see the boast at final bout? Good question. Who asked it? Pat Lynch. Yo, can you put up the final bout flyer with all the names of the thing, Malcolm? Is that possible? Yeah. I see you only have one monitor tonight, so I'm getting a little scared. I think Charm is the Japanese one, one of them that's coming, right? And those are the... I just want to see the names. That way I know. Down. That. Wait, this, down. Where is it? What the fuck? They, that. Oh, here. They upload a lot. I don't know how you're going to zoom in, but good luck. I could see. Oh, uh, well, that's good for you. <laughs> Dude, I mean, Front Street. Have you ever heard of Front Street before? No. <laughs> Dude. Run up. I. Those cars look good. It's just hard for me to say because... I don't oh. know. I like all of these teams. Like, I, Like, it's... A lot of them have friends of what mine. What is this like, team ghost? I never heard of them. Can we? They're not tagged or anything, are wait, they? I don't know. I would like to check I mean, some of these teams out right now. I think that would that would make this a little It's not even just the team thing. It's the fact that we're just going to see a lot of the people that we know. Drift team ghost right there. Down. We're going to see a lot of the people that we know. Up. And it's going to yet again be a fun, Ooh. exciting thing. Dude. Click that one their on Instagram is, is, is up top. Sick. What the hell? Where did that beamer come from? Where did that beamer come from? Yeah, why is it kind of looming? There's always in the that one friend in the group that just did not want to listen. Like, he just did not. And that's Carl usually. But for some reason, Carl's car ideas always line up. So Yeah, because my shit's nice as hell. Uh -huh. Sit down. Oh, they're all 180s? Wait, what's going on with the one on the left right there? You see the back of it? Why does that look a little weird? That quarter glass? What's going on there, Carl? Is it a coupe? Is that what? Uh, Go back to that first picture. Hatch, hatch. Ooh. Coupe? Is that a coupe? That's weird. Yeah, what is it? What's going on? Let's see if we can find another picture. It might be just the lighting. Oh, there you go. What's going on there, oh, man? It's a fastback type. Uh, oh, coupe. Shit. No, it's not though. It is. A, it is a 180. Look at the glass. It's a that, 180. Nah, nah. That's got to be like a that's weird like a, yeah, panel a weird that panel. was offered. Can you click his name? Let's investigate this. Banana oh, hand. Wait, this is the dude with the FC. Yo, this guy has. I've watched this guy throw 360s what? on um YouTube Look so at many that times. Panel. What the hell is even that? Yo, that's. 
<laughs> Quarter windows look that like is, a Z32. Yeah, they do look like a Z32. I that's, that's exactly what I got from it. I was trying to see. I'm like, yeah. Did he, did he fucking put a fucking 240 front yeah. of it? Yeah. Hey, man. I mean, all right. It's different. That's for sure. You had Frankie punching the air for a second. I was like, okay, go back to the group photo. And where'd that two tone go? Look at. They got that two tone. Go up. What are you doing? Oh, he's drunk. Sorry. Down. Well, left, 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 left. There. Yeah. This is that final one. Taking home there, the win? There was, a, there was a video or a picture, Malcolm, instead. Yeah, go back. Just go up. That one right there on the left. Yeah, that thing looks good. Right? It looks like a two-tone coupe. It does look really good. That looks really good. <laughs> Chris, get some arrow. Yeah, that's Fuck. what I'm thinking about. I haven't driven with Chris in that so long. That car looks great. What's that guy's name? I don't know. It's got to be somewhere. Bro, next question. There was a bunch of fucking questions. No, I want to look at the team. Next question. There he is. I do like that kid. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jerk705? Jerk705 from Canada. Oh, he's from Canada. That's sick. So this team is in continent-wide? <laughs> <laughs> this team's North American. All right, so we'll see them there. Those cars are cool. Hell yeah. Nice trailer. He said my favorite track. Yep, you go, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so what other teams are you interested to see? Bo I'm interested to see Boss Town out drifting. I'm, again, I'm just interested in being there because there's so many teams that at this point, like it's a lot of the things that I like, and I'm just going to go there and enjoy all of the things that I like. But there's got to be a team that you're looking forward to. Gleam. Faction Motorsports. Gleam. I can't be a fan of anybody right now because I'm a fan of of one thing and one thing only, and it's the fact that our name isn't up there. So it, you sound miserable. I don't lock wanna, it up. I, I don't even want to go with you. Lock it up. You sound miserable. Bro, lock it up. Well, I'm going to have fun. I don't know what you're doing. I just told you that I was going to go have fun. I have a lot of friends on. I've, I'm looking at these names, and I'm like, Dude, Boss Town, we're going to see PJ. Yeah. Animal style. Risky Business. Chris, Risky Business. Matt, Dylan, Eric. I'm friends with a lot of those kids. You know them. Yeah. Great people. You would love them. Well, introduce me. Proceed. Dude, have you ever heard of Front Street? No. Front Street Drift Club? They're I famous. Have, I have not heard of them. Hayes is gone. Dude, Gleam, I get to Gleam. go see them again. That's like, what I'm that stoked on. Those cars, okay, there you go. Those cars. That car looks. But we saw them, and like this year, the Gleam uh, cars are the best cars dude, there. Animal style is driving too. Like I, I don't care. As many times Gleam as I, as many times as I've run into Palmer, I've yet to see Palmer drive, and yeah, like that's, that's, cool. that's how I feel. Like I watched and knew what Front Street was, and I, I always just wanted to see the cars drive. Never saw him drive. Now I get to see him drive. We actually are seeing animal style. Crazy. Drifting all together. Crazy, dude. And like, I've never seen that. So I get to experience that. You're, I'm, I'm tweaking. Then good feeling. Hayes. Who's good feeling? Good feeling was uh, last year's. I forgot what place they came in. But good, I've, good I ran feeling. into some of the. Oh, that's a cool logo. I've ran into some of the. Like members of good, I can't think of who's on good Can feeling you click right that? now. But Malcolm, good feeling online, that's cool too. There's the blue car Down. and the red car that I remember. Dallas, <laughs> no they wonder. won um, knuckle up or not knuckle up, uh, special stage central. central. Those cars are they got they got a matching style. Shit, that is a really cool picture, dude. They drove really good. Play the clip of them. I wish there was a name for. Uh, the one above, the drone one. I wish there was a name for the style that they have. Look like, there's that. this weird thing. Like, they driving good at hell. Like, you see how he's got like the R32 rear tail light cover, and then like that guy's got the trunk that's like inverted for the hatch. And then there's like someone's got canards, I think, that are pretty big. And then like the big wing. That's where I saw that red car in the front. I saw it at Alicia, I think. Okay. I'm almost positive I did, unless it was another red car. Fuck, I'm really bad. That track looks like you could get some crazy speed into the first turn. That blue car hitting hard. That could be us, bro. If Can you, you just, just enjoy watching if, it? Dude, no, because I want it for myself. How am I going to be a grown you, man you wanting do. to be somebody else? You have a drift car. 
We have a drift team. Yeah. We need we need the team. Well, we don't have it right now. So Look at that. enjoy it. What about that? What about that? We need that too. I don't need that. A little three axle, John. You need that. You need a two car trailer. Their merge is so cool. Look yeah, it looks shit. good. All right, I'm excited to see them. Dude, I'm telling you, look, two, That's te- what's up. two teams and they're already sick. We didn't even click through the rest of them. You know what I mean? It's you, gonna be nuts. You I'm ever heard of sensory overload? You ever heard of Front Street? Dude, I don't know. Have you ever heard of Front Street? I don't know, but they're on there. Content creator Josh. <laughs> Sam B Street's car is definitely one that I would love to see. You know what I'm scared about right now? Yo, click. Th- I'm scared. I'm scared that Ethan's still working out there, and we're not gonna go anywhere. Click that. Uh, yeah, click that one because those are the cars from Japan. Charm. Yeah, dude. But there's two teams, right? What's the other? Tri- what's the other? Charm team? and what? Lean sense. Lean sense. Like all the cars are on lean. What? Those cars are cool. Damn, that does look fucking. That looks like. <laughs> that looks exactly like. Kuroshi. That looks like like a Seto Corsa mod in real life. I wonder if the same guy that designed that did the. I like those red cars right there. Just yeah. a little bit. Dude, yeah. I can't wait for my racing stripe. Connor, where's the racing stripe? <laughs> His car just got flooded. His car is fine. You know why? Because there was enough holes in the floor, I'm you sure, said. I'm sure it is fine. That's Justin's car, The uh, this blue one. I I just I think his name is Cholula What the hell Cowboy? is that? Cholula Cowboy. Hmm. C-West IS on tri-spokes. That's yeah. a tri-spoke? Or is that just like the name of any wheel with three spokes? It's just three spokes, tri-spoke, triple spoke. Those things are huge. What is that? They probably weigh a 1,000 pounds. Yeah. I get to meet him. He's in an IS group chat that I was added to. I get to say hi to him. Oh, yeah. Again, I get IS to... IS group chat. Yeah, I got oh, added to it. I was real honored about that. Okay. I was really honored about that. There's like a bunch of people in there that all have way nicer stuff than me, and I don't know how the fuck I'm in this group chat. That's cool. Um... So yeah, I, it's really cool because I like all the cars in that group chat. Like, yeah. <laughs> like he is has, the guy with the silver one in that group chat. Yeah, Dan. What is his name? Dan. Dan? Skinny. D. He said he what, would come on the pod sometime. What? What's his? Is he? Is he going to this or no? Yeah, his car is in the car show though. I think. I don't think. I don't, oh, so he's going, but he's not on one of the teams. I don't anymore. think that he's driving. Okay. But I've run into Dan Daniel a couple times. Okay. Um, I want to see that car in person. I probably have, but I don't remember. Dude, he just finished up his motor, too. It sounds ballistic. That's a Jay-Z. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Best engine ever. Yeah. And dude, I hadn't touched mine in two weeks. I fucking got in there. Yeah, it has I'm like. All right. Next question, Malcolm. I think we're good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, I think we we covered it pretty good, the teams. I... I rifled off like 20 teams and had no idea who anyone was. I just like know the cars and the people. I feel like. Um, is Carl doing twin drift at RSD from Tyler Wynn? How do you say N-G-U-Y-E-N? You is should be telling me that. What? That's got to be racially motivated. It is racially motivated. You're Asian. Malcolm, I'm not. Malcolm, 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 Malcolm. Racist. Okay. No, 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 no. no. I'm asking how to pronounce it. (laughs) No, I think it's win. Win. Is Carl doing twin drift at RSD? (laughs) Yes, I am. With who? With Ethan Eisenhardt, my twin. Who the hell is that? My one of my best friends, Randy. Bro, fuck. We 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 be right now. I wish it was Daryl. We are so locked. I wish it was Daryl. Me and Ethan be driving really well together. What car does he have? Two forty with a KAT. I wish it was Daryl. He bought the race line kit from y'all. Like, Never mind. I wish it was him. Good customer. Would love to meet him one day. He's the one who I was You've trying to convince him. to buy the drift oh, line whoops. kit. Ethan. Which Ethan? He was on this podcast. Yeah, he was great. No, no really. Great. Refresh my memory. No. Um, it was just but, him? But I'm going to... No. Oh, who else was there? He's with Stevie. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Yeah. He's a good dude. Oh, yeah. He's funny. We drive pretty good. He made the kit look good, too. He fit it really good. Yeah. But we were at, uh, every time we drive, it's pretty good. So now we're like, all right, let's do this. So I had to sign up for that stuff. When is that? September 20. I forget. That's crazy. That's my birthday. You're going to miss it. Yep. I am. (laughs) (laughs) Didn't even say the date. I forget. (laughs) It's Zab K 
Can't wait to see you guys going to street the Corolla. Any tips for driving an old car for 10 hours? This is the kid we ran into in Kentucky. In the middle of Kentucky, me, Johnny, and Nick are walking around. Oh, oh. And this guy, Zab, in a, in a Corolla. Coupe, 86. It's an SR5, so I guess 85. Is, uh, is, is going to get us over there. He's going to drive us He's going to drive over there. And we're going to run into him again. And he's driving what? That that car? That car. How far? All right, Ten Zab. Hours? Yeah, here's what you're going to do. You're going to carry you're going to carry a tube of JB Weld or like a pack of JB Weld. That's one. It's an old car. Shut up. Shut I up. I was thinking up. a spare tire, but okay. That's one. Two, a uh, a coolant, a jug of coolant and then a case of water. Notice how I said the case. So you could drink it, but you could also sacrifice it. You could just pee to in fix the radiator. It. Trying to give good options here. So that, a fan, if it's not air-conditioned, like one of those plug-in fans, a pillow for your ass or your back, for you freak hoes. No, I'm just kidding. But Who's uh, going to match my freak? But really, though, the, 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 the pillow's key because you're going to put that on your ass. Under your gooch. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Because believe it or not, those 80 seats don't feel that great after about an hour and a half. Hmm. Like, you know a stock 240 seat? Yeah. Oh. But then you get a little pillow. All of a sudden, it feels like you're sitting on a Bob's couch. I think he's going to be good, man. And then what else? Tire plug kit. Tire plug kit. That's a good one. Tire compressor to fill. You should definitely have a compressor. Um. Then you're just random tools. You might as well bring an engine hoist in case you got to <laughs> do. No, I'm just. Um, Might as well bring an engine hoist, a little engine jack, stand, dolly. Just shit that you're prepared to do. Full snap on toolbox. Don't bring it if you're not prepared to do it. That's for sure. All right. Jet Davis asks, Jet Davis. who got Zaza? You bringing the Zaza to no, Wisconsin? Jet Davis, do not eat the pizza there. That shit is ass. Nah, dude. That Chicago pizza is terrible. We terrible. ain't talking about the pizza, uncle. Oh, he wants to. Yeah, you're going to match his freak. <laughs> you're going to match his freaking I'm tin. not matching that freak either. I'm not. Jed Davis, I'll bring the Zaza, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, you can bring it to the. I can't wait. Pot, pot. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I fucking knew we were going to talk to Jed Davis. Dude, he's be. Have you. Do you watch Jet's stories? Jet's. In, yeah, he's crazy. They be. They, they're street and yeah. he be street in the S15. Yeah, I know. Like it's a single cam 240. Day, I was going to be like, Jet, how many cars you got? Like 17? Cause I want to see the facility, Jet. Yeah. Can't be na- named Jet without having something you call the God facility. Damn, Jet Davis. Who's going to watch the city that weekend? Literally. Fucked. Yeah, we're going to see Jet Davis. Opinions on Carl's final bout sticker. Why is weed called pizza? What? Can someone explain that to me? It's just called Za. Why? I don't know. Malcolm, any I think input? It's for exotic. <laughs> no, it's not for real. I think so. That's a dumb shit. Nah, no fucking way. That is weird though, right? Wait, Malcolm, can I like DM you this or something? DM you what? The... I want to show the people the sticker I'm going to be selling. Diego, <laughs> ask a question. Yeah, email it to me. Email? That's the only yeah. way you can get it on there. Malcolm W. at FactionMotorsports.com. Oh, yeah, he said it. <laughs> For all your parts needs. Oh, is that is that really the inquiry? I mean, yeah. Shit, okay. If you want to if you want to talk to the man directly. Would you rather... Oh, this is God, Diego, why are, do I... Would you rather paint with your feet or talk <laughs> with your hands? Talk with your hands. <laughs> That's the dumbest. This out here telling me we would be talking like this when you could easily be fucking. Look at that. So like my hand would talk instead of my mouth, or yeah. does he mean sign language? Yeah, no, you would. Ah, yeah, because I was thinking like, oh, it's either you're fucking mute or I don't know actually. You can paint with your feet. So I guess painting with your feet is a better skill. Dude, you see the you see the motion though. I can definitely paint with my feet. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. How are you going to pull that trigger? I, I I work my toes every day. <laughs> Five minutes a day is all you need. And I'll have the dexterity of, of, of a monkey. Of a monkey. 
Okay, maybe you shouldn't <laughs> open your mailbox on there. It's not on the screen. Oh, I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Where you didn't send it? I'm sending it right now. Did you oh. really put your email? Yeah, on the mom? put everything. Oh, oh, it's not on the. Screen. Oh, it's not on the camera. I saw some weird porn site. It was oh, whoa, okay. hey, whoa! You guys whoa. are subscribed. <laughs> and uh, another last one from Diego. What's your high and low for this year? What was your high this year? My high? Yeah. Do you think it's gonna be final bout? It might be. It could be. My high this year. What trips did I go on this year? Japan. You went to Wyoming. Oh, you went to Japan as well. That yeah. wasn't a high, honestly. It was fun, but... Um, Wyoming was fun. Did I not? You said that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what what else did I... Honestly, I don't know, dude. Every day is exactly the same. Bro, Shenandoah, man, for me, that was a fun one. Yeah. That seemed like that was a... Dude, pretty- that was such a fun weekend just because of the people that were there. Like, it was a lot of my friends that... We just connected and just vibed right away. What about like you don't low, have to worry low about a low. Uh, I guess like June was pretty hard. What was June? It was just like work hard in terms of work, and I just remember not being happy in June. Like I had so much work. What the hell is that sound? I think it's someone's phone. Somebody's phone probably about to ring. That's terrifying. That's weird. That's a new noise. It went away. It's probably a phone signal. Well, we do have three phones on the fucking table. Didn't um, happen the entire podcast. It only happens when you talk, Carl. He's an android. It's that phone. Can we just can just give it Malcolm? Give me Malcolm the phone. He'll handle it. I don't know why that's making that Are noise. Are you still trying to send an email? I sent it. I sent that shit already. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, every day feels exactly the same to me. Um. Uh, pretty depressing. <laughs> Find me at Final Bout. I'm gonna have these stickers on me. You're gonna want that one on the top. What does that one say? It says I heart Filipino one. Only one Filipino. That's me. Any idea what's going on with the mics? <laughs> I've no. I got no idea, bro. You didn't like okay. my second sticker? We're right. not gonna cut that one. Maybe we're gonna put that out another day. I ran into K Spec and bought the sticker in support of the of Body Town USA. <laughs> yeah, I like that one more. I I do like the bottom one. You don't the like top the top one? one? That I'm a little the, confused. The top one is a story of your life. It seems racially motivated. Not really. No, <laughs> not at all. You made tons of racist ass jokes this entire podcast. No, and I that, didn't. that is what gets you. That's literally racial. Support the Filipinos. <laughs> I just don't know if I would put that in my car, but it's cool. I feel like I'm probably the one person that would put that in their car, but yeah. I like the second one. I'm excited. I'm not, I haven't made anything for a case back yet. It's my so first is thing. this going to be like a... I'm just be selling them out of my pocket. Like, I'm just going to be like, yo, Like, are they printed a on a sticker they're just or die, they cut. die cut? Like, they're just cut. Okay. Ethan has a cutter. I think he said he was going to cut them for me. Then no, no. if like you see me, one. if you see me at final bout, I also like them. It's oh, clean. if you see me at final bout, or if you see me around, I'll probably have these on me, and then just let me know. All right, what's another question? Yeah, I think it's your phone, Carl. Pull it up on your phone, dude. It is why. not my fucking. We must have did something, but we did. I don't know. It's Ethan. All right, next question, Malcolm. Or next one that you he would like. My to phone's hear. about to die. Oh shit. Frank is looking at it on his phone. <clears throat> <laughs> what was that, Trump? All right. Well, Give me an hour to thank find you this. guys so much for listening. I have a producer, but you know, he's just <laughs> bullshitting. Um, there's a lot of fucking comments on this. They're questions. They're no, almost none of them are questions. All right, just read them real quick. Uh, how would you improve Final Bout? Hmm. I don't it's pretty it's pretty polished I'm not gonna lie yeah. like it's it's they have a belief and they follow it every year and every year they work even harder at it and it shows like it's definitely one of the highs in my opinion of a organized drift event it's like a tournament bro like all year round like people compete for this yeah, it's pretty much dialed. It's pretty sick. I'm with it. Next question. 
I'm just so distracted by that noise. I came and focus. I think I'm just going to take Get these over off. It. <laughs> I'm like, please. This fucking shit is terrible. Um, how's everybody doing? We want to hear about you. What? That was so nice, FRS Zach, but I'm doing her terrible. So how are you doing? I'm good. I'm happy. I'm busy. Busy's good. That's good. Um, Thank you, Zach. Yo, I hope your radio situation was good. And I hope... I don't know if... He's, he replied to my story and said he was going to Final Bout, but if I see you there, I see you there. Oh, my God. There's so many. Thank you guys for the comments and questions. Drift, Dream Drift Chassis, 240. You? Yeah, it'd probably be, it'd probably be an S13. Yeah, it'd probably be an S13 because I could have it in left-hand drive. What are, you, what are you using to paint cars at? He said the word home, but I don't know if you want me to say that. <laughs> but what, what are you using to paint cars at home? I'm Carl? definitely not painting with a 30 gallon compressor. Okay. Or like a, um, it's like a rep. I'm definitely not using a rep of a uh, 3M gun. Oh, really? Okay. Um, and I'm definitely not using a rep of very good paint products. I feel like your paint me. is good, no? I know. I'm I'm saying I'm not doing these things, but... But you said a rep of good paint. I use good paint. Yeah. Like, it's good. I mean... Uh, and he said nice work. Thanks. I've been working really hard at it. I want to get better. Anytime somebody drops it off to me, I do want them to know that, like, I am still learning. But the results are showing. It's good. I'm learning. I'm making mistakes, but I am learning learning how to fix the mistakes uh yeah i'm having mad fun it's fun stuff if you want to send me stuff like small stuff to paint like if you have like a like a helmet or something whoa talk to me about it i'm gonna be down to try it let me know that'd be cool if you start painting helmets that'd be sick diego does sick helmets eddie does sick uh helmets fuck man where do you think you'd be without drifting <laughs> Your, at my day job. Your favorite question. At my day job doing mundane shit every day. Carl got really angry looking when he heard that question. So, I, dude, without drifting, I would probably. Yeah, have you no looked really mad. And my mom had the nerve to tell me, like, well, you know your hobby. And I'm like, yeah, my one hobby. Okay. What about you, Frankie? Where would you be? I don't know. Like, it's different for me. Like, I could go fucking just hate my life over there behind a desk. Hmm. What would you be doing right now? You'd be a painter in well, the coffee shops. I can say that I don't think drifting is the reason why I have this business. I think it's it was part of it, but I think I wanted to do this anyway. Hmm. Okay, so you would just have like a general automotive. But maybe that would have failed. So You wouldn't bring your car to Frankie's? No, but I'm just saying like because <laughs> if I did if I wasn't like involved in a you call it drifting a sport? If I wasn't involved in like racing or something, like maybe it wouldn't have gotten to this point, you know. If I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna work on Japanese cars, and I'm and I don't do anything else. You don't think you would have gotten exposed to it immediately? Like, I don't think it would have. I don't think it would have grew as fast because I think drifting is so like eye catching and everything. I think someone would have pulled into your shop or establishment with something that drifts, and you would have been like, sick. Well, this is assuming that we. Oh, that drifting is exists. not part of your life. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it would have just been like, yeah, I build cool Japanese street cars. Like, it wouldn't have been that, mm. you know? Okay. Because drifting is the reason why the Instagram blew up and all that. If it wasn't for drifting, like, I don't know what would have happened. So, but yeah, as far as like having a shop, I think I wanted to do that. Would way. your style have been like different if it wasn't a drift car? Like, would you want it to not look like that or like that? Yeah, definitely. I think there's two parts of me. I always say that. Like when I had the STI and I had my drift car, I was like, Yeah, that's why I asked. I was like, I wonder what kind of fucking car yeah. Frank Because like have. the drift car, I always like, because you know I'm kind of a perfectionist. So with the drift car, I always like toned it down a level because I knew it was going to get into accidents. So I never really cared that much. But then the STI it was like a museum piece. So yeah, you're so fucking whack, dude. That I, because the Chevy I is like exactly two, the same. The Chevy's not. 
The the Chev is the cleanest fifteen hundred I've been in, and I've been in I feel a like couple the Chevy others. Is like the drift car, I've been in a couple others. Josh's is, was the second one I was ever in, and that one when we were at final bout it's after suburban. all them dudes yeah. were in there after yeah. a trip. Yeah, Whoo, I was like, "Yo, Josh, this is a little different than Frankie's." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not trying to have a bunch of man meat in there, you know, Schmeet. But it is going to be bad on the on the way home. Why? A lot of meat. It's me, you, Eddie, and Princess. Yeah. And Malcolm. At, at least we all smell good, right? You picked four of the smallest people you yeah. could have. Yeah, you're chose. right. I did. That's and get, yo, great. dude, if we were in Nicoya, it could have been like Eddie in the or Eddie in the back or Malcolm in the back, then Princess Eddie right there, boom, then you're in the front. Uh, no I'm equipment. Driving. Trailer. <laughs> I'd rent the fucking trailer so quick. It'd be so nice. Fucking surround sound in that motherfucker. Why are you shaking your head, man? I don't know. Because doesn't that sound so good? Yeah, but is it going to happen? Nope. <laughs> I just don't trust that thing. What? I've had it for two years. Well, a little over a year and a half. Yeah, I've had my Chevy for 10 years, and this shit never broke down. I drove it all over the place. We could converse and argue about this another okay. time. all right. Um, best road trip vehicle that's not a Sequoia or Silverado. Sorry, I just had to pick the question that was directly related to exactly what we were talking about. Mm. What would I choose? Not a Ford. No. no, I would not. That's for damn sure. Not a Silverado, Tahoe, or Suburban. So, so not a Yukon. So any other, any any other Toyota. <laughs> yeah, literally a Toyota 4Runner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, okay, no 4Runner. Did you say that? I would go with a Lexus GS 300. You know what I would go with? If it was a cheap car, like a cheap beater, like to road trip in. Is 2001 that what it is? Honda Civic. No, that's what I would go with. No, no, no. You know what I would actually go with? A 2015 Toyota Prius. Bye. No way. Dude. Yeah. Fuck that bullshit. Set that bitch on cruise control. You're living. I would choose a Tesla. Nope. <laughs> no. Yeah. Dude, when I was at Mount Rainier, they, I saw a Tesla, and I was like, you're, you're an idiot. <laughs> like, When you pull over on the side of the road with car troubles and a Tesla, no one stops. But Just then, remember that when you buy one. No, 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 no. Here's what got me. The whole time, I was about to... Or, we were looking for a um, a gas station. It was one. It was like 30 minutes, 25 minutes away. But um, a Tesla station was right at the bottom. And there was one right at the top, at the peak. Yeah, because they're fucked of it. And they I was like, there. wow, they really... Yeah. Uh-oh, I hear someone opening a door. It's Ethan. Let's see what Ethan's got to say. Let's see. Give me another question, Pop. I'm trying. <laughs> so Carl, let yeah. me get a you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, that's Bryson. You got to meet Bryson, dude. He's a hoot. That's Bryson? Yeah. Ghost. No, no, no. That's that the ghost? Yeah, ho, ho, oh, that's yeah, Bryson. Yeah, yeah. But that's Wait, Quan. Go, he's got Ghost, ghost is his name, do you think? Ghost is Quan. No, no, no. That's oh, different. Okay. Highs and lows. I'm still thinking about that question. Why can't I answer that? Because you've been on a flat line all year. I think that's how my mind works. Get uncomfortable. I've been uncomfortable. I'm in this room right now. <laughs> You're too comfortable in this room. I think I think my brain is just like this. Like, You're so jaded, bro. You got to go find some... I went to Japan and I was just like, eh. You're so jaded. You got to find... Start to learn to enjoy a little bit. Yeah. Like, 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 that. like enjoy like little shit. Like, I take a second now to like think because it is pretty easy to like go to the end or not go to the end but draw draw a conclusion where like oh this kind of sucks but if it does suck then it sucks enjoy it for what it is a shitty experience yeah no i get that like that's or, why or if I something's mean, good or if something's good just just try to remember that it's good that's the hard part here was a high that i had the other uh, actually as well when the first car I ever painted rolled away Nick's car, yeah. when that car left the driveway and it drove away, I was like, wow, I did that. Car looks good. Car looks sick. I got green harnesses for him whenever he wants them. That's insane. Nick, you know what to do. 
What were what were the first three final bouts? If this is the seventh, <laughs> what? If this is seven, but on the tenth anniversary? Oh, okay. It's a real question. What were the first three final bouts? If this is seven, but the anniversary, but the tenth anniversary? It's ten years. First of all, I think the org has been around for ten years. Yeah, That's why it's ten years. The yeah. first final bout was twenty fourteen. Yeah. And then COVID and. Well, a couple of years had to skip. Yeah, it's maybe. just the years, and there's there was final bout almost every year. Mm-hmm. It was just different versions, special yeah. stage, and all those ones. So, yeah. Um, when are we gonna drive together? We're shooting for next year. Who said that? Taco the Toyota. Love the name. Uh, how's everybody doing? We want to hear about you. That was Zach. Um. Yeah, Zach, everything's just stressful right now, but we're we're good. Carl's living life. Painting. Dude, wait till wait till the actual business kicks on, dude, and you gotta see and you're you're gonna be like, Wow, you know what? It is possible to have some fun, bro. I'm gonna run a good good business, dude. I'm excited. Um Eddie asks, Are we trying I, I don't know, I still don't know the name of this pizza spot. I've been going there for ten years. Pequods? Pequods, that's what it is. Pequods? What a fucking weird name. Are we trying Pequod's Pizza in Chicago? Eddie, you can. I'm never eating that shit. I'm trying it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I'll bring you guys there and watch. All I know is we better see Josh. I miss Josh. Even if Josh I will to just not say... be at that pizza restaurant, I will tell you that. Rebgasm? No, he will be. I thought you meant Delis. No, not even just at the restaurant. That's yeah. my cuyo for real, dude. I, and there's this guy with the same last name as me. I also think he's going to be there. His name is Mel. Mel. Mel Delro. On oh Instagram. yeah, that's has he has the same last name. Yeah, as he's me. gonna be there. I'd be calling him cousin. <laughs> he just put overs on his car. Maybe like cry. yo, cousin. Yeah, he loves it. Everyone loves overs. So, mm, but and the wing, he painted the wing. I gotta see the, it again. Painted the center section and then the thing the, is, his car was so mint. It was so nice for so long. Oh and yeah, then he's like I'm putting overs on. Wait, like, so you oh, know this person? No. Yeah, my cousin. Yeah. Sick. I've known him since 2014 only, or whatever. The I first li- time I went, I literally just followed him because he had my same last name <laughs> and had had Toyota and a, a drift car, and I said follow. There's <laughs> no way you guys are actually related in any way, right? I don't think so. Is it possible? Fuck if I know, dude. The hell? How many Filipinos are in the Philippines? That's insane. Millions? Yeah. Tens let of me millions? just fucking two, 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 two. hundreds of millions. Let me just let me, hold on. Let me just. How many people live in the United States? 200 something million? Is that crazy? Is that low? Give it a goog. I feel like we should know this number. Oh, two, 333. That's that was a very 20, scary 22. looking number. If you double that, it's 666. That's Look up Philippines. 330 million. 150 million. That, could be, that could be your cousin. The Philippines is this. And there's that many people. And the in United it. States is this. Yeah. And you're telling me we yeah. got half? That's a lot of people. What pisses me off is I have a lot of friends over there. Who That's just a keep lot of cranking people. out babies. And I'm like, why the fuck are you guys cranking out so many babies? Y'all can't afford the damn babies. You want to see something crazy point? now? Look up India's population. Why do you just know this on the top Watch of Watch this shit. <laughs> Look at Carl's face. <laughs> 1.4 billion. And that's way smaller than the United States. Not way small, but like half of it or less. Bro, China got 1.42. They, 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 uh... Isn't that insane? The Philippines number is insane, though. It's pretty insane. That's a lot of people for well, islands. Well, a couple like of pebbles that. in the water. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Or you can think of it this way. There, we have a lot of empty space here, which we do. Dude, I want some land. If India can hold 1.4 billion people, how many people can this country hold? I'm not going to find out. I'll be dead before then. Probably like five billion. That's why I'm just going to enjoy it till the fucking... God, imagine the West was just houses. Oh, no, God. I don't. I still need to ride a motorcycle through there. So. You won't even ride home from Wisconsin. It's different. <laughs> it's different. Why the fuck would I ride a motorcycle I just bought that far? I haven't done no due diligence. It could be a brand new bike. Because you only buy good stuff. Yeah. So you'll be good. No. All right. I know there's a lot of questions in here, but I think I think we covered most of the good ones. Uh, not 
they're not just because it's not good means we're not going to get to it. It's just there are a few questions, and Frankie and I right hand drive. Matt said, "Tell me about the early days of Final Bout," but like, I don't know. I mean, it was fun. It's still fun. I feel like it was right now. It's like swinging so hard. It's definitely way different. I will tell you that. It's basically like going to old club loose and then new club loose. It's still fun, but it's not the, the same. same fun. It's not like it's a. Di- it's not like it's better or worse. It's just different. That's interesting. I don't know. Like back then, it was like very small group of people. Yeah. Now that bitch is gonna be. Now packed. it's like I don't know eighty percent of them. You know, but before it was like you knew at least sixty percent, maybe fifty. Now it's like there's so many people, which is good. You dude, know, I gotta buy new shirt, dude. All my faction shirts have holes in them. I gotta buy new shirts. Here we go. Get them a whole. Get them a whole wardrobe. Not, dude. And it's gonna be chilly too. I might need his matching sweatpants and sweatshirt. I hope it's fucking chilly, but we'll see. Dude, I don't watch know it be re- fucking ninety degrees. I'm not ready for fall, bro. I am so ready. I need sunlight to work. My body's outside. ready. That sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna be working outside. It's already yo. Doesn't it seem like it's getting dark really fast? Right. It's August. Augustington. <laughs> okay. On that note. <laughs> On that note, that was that was that was Carl's brain shutting off. So let's uh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. I do want to. I just realized I have not. Did you know that we have like almost 300 likes on Spotify? That's kind of nuts. Reviews. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, it's insane. Dude, thank you guys so much. That, I although it's just one metric, is that's a lot of reviews. Yeah. It's very rare for a podcast like this. I to don't. Have any. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but uh, thank you guys so much. Keep letting us know what you like and don't like about the podcast. Um, I'm always in here. Guys, I'm in here stirring the pot. I'm trying to get some shit going. I'm trying to get blood flowing through this guy's body. It's hard. Me? Old ass. I'm not. You're uh, literally 30 in a week. But... (laughs) Nonetheless, thank you guys so much for the support, and uh, it's really what keeps us going. It's really what keeps us going. If you got a cheap Harley <laughs> Davidson that you want to get rid of in the Wisconsin area, and you can convince Frankie to not have me ride it home, please let me know. You would have to ride it home. No. Okay. Well. Good you, night. Thank you. You ride guys. that bike home. I'll finish my car in a month. A month is crazy. You're right. I'll finish it before January for sure. That's even worse. I was thinking like a week. That would be impressive. No. I'm not. No. Ride it home. Thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs> See you at Final Bout. I don't know if we're going to have another podcast before then, but thank you guys so much. I hope so. We are? We have to. Dude, no, we don't. <laughs> okay, yeah, we do. <laughs> Fuck. All right, guys. Carl's out. <laughs> it's just me now. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Sorry this was terrible. We'll see you uh, in a week, and we'll definitely have a bunch of podcasts for you after Final Bout. Good night and good luck. This guy. All right, Malcolm, what do you think about that? That kid is cooked. What did he say? Augustington? <laughs> yeah, once he said Augustington. I was like, oh, he's, he's checked out. I had to shut this podcast down. <laughs> uh, sorry for everyone that had to sit through that podcast. Um, <laughs> I think that was the worst podcast I've ever done in my life. But, and it wasn't all Carl's fault. It was definitely mine too. So, but yeah, uh, we had no... Yeah, we'll call that a filler episode. <laughs> yeah, we literally had no plan. We were like, oh, final bout. And then Carl just talked about se- the sequoia. So it yeah. wasn't really... Yeah, I talked about Alien. Yeah, it was a good 30-minute conversation. <laughs> but you know what? It had to be said because that was fun. It was a great movie. Good movie. Yeah. I th- think about it every now and then. Do you? I think so. Well, it pops up on my social media a lot. Yeah, you turned to me the other day and said, that was a really good movie. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's cool. It's random. I'm thinking about starting my own movie podcast. Okay. Little reviews with your fiance. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Does she even know movies like that? Not really. No, we're just gonna review movies when we go see them. Oh, okay. But here's the problem. You would have to edit them. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, this thing gonna work. Me and her ain't gonna do shit. Oh, I just said okay. I'll do it. All right, so we're good. There we go. Okay, so I need to figure out how we're gonna do this, and then yeah, it sounds like an expensive podcast. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh. 
we already have a studio. So that's no, I'm saying done. like going to see movies every. We or, do that already. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Did you forget? Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, cool. So yeah, if you guys are interested in that at all, let me know. <laughs> let me know. Send me a DM on Instagram. Uh, cause I, I would love to do that, but yeah, now that we got Eddie here, woo, we're going to make a movie podcast. N- nothing to do with faction motorsports. Yeah. No, but it's going to be recorded here. Yeah. yeah. So why don't you let everybody know who you have lined up for the podcast? Cause Carl doesn't listen to the outros. Okay. Here's what I was thinking. Uh, no, no. <laughs> here's what I was thinking. <laughs> I, I was thinking we and you should do an episode right now for a Patreon where we go over everything. Okay. That way the Patreon guests can get a heads up. Or okay. The Patreon listeners, rather. And then, yeah, we'll go over that. Um, yeah, I mean, some, some you guys heard some of them. Jet Davis. Uh, that's pretty much it, right? That's yeah. what we talked about. And Vanish. Team Vanish. Team Vanish. Yeah. Team Vanish and Jet Davis. We're going to try to talk to those guys. Uh, but there's another, like, five or seven, six, five, six guests right now. There's also other people I'm t- trying to get. Um. So yeah, join the Patreon. You get a heads up. Also, guys, if you want to join the Patreon, uh, now would be a good time because we're going to be releasing all those podcasts on Patreon first, and they are going to be slowly released over two months, maybe three, but definitely two. So, uh, yeah. So join the Patreon would definitely be awesome. You get you're going to get access to all that stuff with a five dollar membership. Uh, but we do have other tiers. We have merch tiers, and we did. We have been working on merch ideas. So, mm-hmm. right? We yeah. had, yeah. I, did he answer me yet? I gotta check that email. Yeah. But um, yeah, we got two new shirt designs in the making. We have two shirt designs that haven't been made yet that are just sitting around. So, if you guys join the fifteen dollar tier, or was it, yeah, fifteen dollar tier, then you get a when when merch drops, you get a free shirt. A free shirt, usually a free shirt. Yeah, but if we do like a sticker drop or something we can do that but you know we haven't been releasing too much merch lately because my brain has been clouded with all the shop expansion stuff but malcolm actually came up with a shirt idea so yeah. we're going to be doing that i'll be getting 20 percent of each sale so thank you guys so much for the donations yeah he won't be getting anything um <laughs> <laughs> no. but uh yeah it might be a hot lap shirt so keep that in mind I yeah people want a hot lap from the youtube series that malcolm and eddie do every week what else we got going on in the shop? Well, Origin has landed. Yes, go check out our most recent Instagram post. There's a whole list on there. A few things have sold already, so um, just check in with us. Uh, check in with us if you're interested in something, and then we'll let you know if it's uh, available. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, not anything near what we thought was going to come in. Like the amount of stuff. Nowhere, yeah, this container near. was a bit light. Yeah, but hopefully. Our next container will be packed to the brim with heat, as with they say. Heat. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Um, you've been adding some parts to the website, or um, that has not <laughs> been, uh, you know, done yet. Yeah, my my fault. That was in my notes, but I realized you haven't done that. But you did some last last month, and that was a. Uh, yeah, we did a whole bunch of KA parts last month. Yeah, so we got a bunch of KA. Yeah, so now we're thinking about doing a Miata parts for this month, but um, the month is almost over. It's basically over because Final Bout makes the month short. Drop the ball on that one. All right. Um, <laughs> how's, but, it, uh, how's the YouTube been? YouTube is good. Thank you for all the recent subscribers. We probably bumped up like 30, 40 subscribers in the past two weeks. Uh, everybody really liked that video that Eddie made with Front Street. Uh, Front Street, uh, Josh and Nick. Auto Win Nick from Front Street. Yeah, that was um, a good video. They stopped by the shop with their own, you know, projects and had a little fun. We got them buttoned up and out of here. So, you yep. know, if you got projects, if you got stuff we got to work on, just hit them with the and out the door. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Eddie's just laughing in the corner. Um, <laughs> never mind. Uh, yeah, so if you guys got anything for us to work on, uh, send it send it over. September's going to be hopefully a good month, but we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a great month. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, oil changes, alignments, suspension installs, exhaust installs, intakes, 
Come on. And all you kids out there, it's back to school. We sh- you need to come to school looking hot. Yeah, you need exhaust. Yeah. You need we springs. get you coilovers, exhaust, yeah. alignment. Sway bar end links. You got to hit those corners, you know? Yeah, out the, the way senior to... parking lot. Yeah, out the senior parking <laughs> <laughs> VQ life. Yeah, so. Yeah, we're stupid. <laughs> 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 but, um... We got the shop painted. Well, the office area Ooh, painted. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Waiting room, showroom painted. Uh, the floor is going to get grinded and sealed next week. Yes, sir. Well, maybe the week after that. Hopefully it's next week. Oh, next week? Oh. Hopefully. Okay. You told him the final color? Maybe. That's a no. So hopefully it'll be done ASAP. Uh, I'm but wa- yeah. I'm waiting for the estimate, Malcolm, but thank you. We're getting there. If anybody wants to donate us a couch for the waiting room, that'd be cool. Don't say that. A clean couch. <laughs> don't say that. There's going to be semen and other stuff on there. Oh, we, we don't, guys, we don't need a couch donated. Thank you. Okay. Uh, if we want one, we'll dumpster dive. <laughs> we, I, I'll get everything. Don't okay. worry about nothing. Never mind. Don't donate yeah, Don't give us anything unless it's Oreos and she fucked ring up dings. And you're going to get a box of Oreos. I don't mind man. that. All right. Yeah. Definitely don't send us smelling salts because Carl is an addict now. We he almost a, did it again. Yeah, yeah, we created a problem. All right, let's record this Patreon, and then that'll be that. So thank you guys for listening to this episode. We're sorry it was terrible, but, um, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes yeah. you lose some. You got to have low days. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Thanks for the questions, too. Uh, make sure to check out our sponsors, East Coast Drift School and Automotive Specialty Wraps. If you need anything detailed on your car, wrapped, tinted, ceramic coated, anything like that, East Coast Drift School, if you want to go drifting in a more private setting. Setting. And yeah, that pretty much covers this. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.